So, I saw a video today on TikTok of this young man, African-American, saying how he wants to go to Africa to find a wife. And he said all this after watching Tyler, our beautiful sister from South Africa. And he's like, you know what? That's it. We just need to go to Africa to find wives. <laughs> <laughs> Audacity. I'm sure it's no news to you that this man in the United States always comes to Africa as a continent, comes to different parts of, you know, probably Nigeria, Ghana, Kenya, Rwanda, different African countries, and come there in search of a traditional wife or a kind of wife that they want to have that they can always talk and she will just keep quiet when they are talking the kind of wife that might want to do 50 50 with them but really do african women do 50 50 i don't think so let me go ahead and roll this clip for you all to watch to the end then i'll come back and talk about it so i saw a video today on tiktok of this young man african-american saying how he wants to go to Africa to find a wife. And he said all this after watching Tyler, our beautiful sister from South Africa. And he's like, you know what? That's it. We just need to go to Africa to find wives. <laughs> <laughs> Audacity. Anyway, me being African, I was raised in Africa and I was also raised in the United States. So I have experience from both continents, okay? And let me tell you something <laughs> if you are an american man who thinks that going outside of the united states is where you will find a good woman a good wife because american women ask for too much the ladies out here men they're just materialistic they're da -da 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 -da. let me tell you something it is worse it is 1,000 times worse than what you think back home in Africa, at least for the country that I was raised in and the culture that I was raised in. Because here's the thing, African women, African young girls, we are raised to literally know that the man is the provider. In fact, a lot of African women don't even go to work. Their men are the ones who go to work and just bring the money home for the wife to budget. And if you think, the women here in america are asking for too much in fact go to africa no go get married because the way african young girls are raised we are raised with so much knowledge about family uh friendship how to deal with lives so when families in africa see that their daughters have gone through so much learning and they have become uh knowledgeable of life and marriage and all those things they know the value of their daughters mm -hmm. and they say you know what any man cannot come and marry our daughter for free. He has to pay a dowry. And that's why majority of African cultures, before a man goes to take the daughter to marry a woman, he has to pay the family uh, a dowry, an appreciation. And dowry can go from money to mm -hmm. cows and goats mm -hmm. to even building the girl's family a house yes and it's all to show appreciation to the family of the girl that thank you so much for raising such a beautiful and wonderful woman who's gonna be the mother of my kids so <laughs> the system works differently the united states after living here for almost 10 years i've realized that here men just take for free yeah <laughs> And I know this might be um, triggering and or insulting some people, but it's the truth. Men in the United States are used to taking things for free, especially from women. They expect, well, I'm just going to go date her, have sex with her here and there and use her. And then we'll just, we'll just be in a relationship. It does not work like that in Africa. It is worse. You cannot take someone's daughter for free like that. You have to impress her and the family, most importantly. And in some cultures, like my own, if you have not proven yourself as a man that you have the resources to take care of someone's daughter, guess what? Even the family has the right to take you to court, to police, and say, we brought this man, he wants to take our daughter for free. Or if you've already taken the daughter without paying the family a dowry, they can say, he stole our daughter from us. <laughs> without any appreciation and guess who is gonna win the case the family of the girl so to any american man or any man worldwide who wants to marry a woman in africa use your common sense you have yeah. to be very very uh strong in your masculinity to know that 
I do not expect my wife to work if she doesn't want to. She can or she cannot. My position as the man in her life will not change whether she works or not. My position is to provide for her. So my brother, you want to go to Africa to find a wife because they are more, they are much more nicer. They're much. Let me tell you, they come with the most uh, costly. How do I say this? And this is not like a, a selling your daughter type of thing, no. The families are not exchanging their children for money and possessions, no. Yeah. It's simply the man giving to the girl's family in appreciation of receiving a wife. He who finds a wife finds a what? A good thing, yes. So if you're an American man, cause that's all I've seen, and you're used to taking things for free, don't go to Africa, don't. You will be hunt down like a criminal for stealing someone's daughter. Mm -hmm. No sense. <laughs> she said no sense. <laughs> hey, beautiful people. I yours in today. It's your favorite girl again, Maria Davis. And I'm back again with another interesting video. Where is the lie in this video? As an African woman raised in Nigeria, Lagos, to be precise, I'm a Yoruba lady. So I know all this is true. If you want to come to Africa to pick a woman, don't expect 50-50 from the woman because I don't even know what 50-50 is until I started seeing videos of 50-50 online, <laughs> to be honest. Anyways, I have interesting stitches to share with you. I still have my own opinions to share at the end of the stitches. So you all sit down, relax, and watch the stitches together. And I will share my opinion at the end of the stitches. But then let me know your thoughts about this video down in the comment section while you watch the videos. An American saying how... He wants to go to Africa to find a wife. And Before I start this video, I just want to tell the creator, she is so pretty. Her yeah. skin color, her full lips, and her eyes, she's her so hair. pretty. And I need y'all to go watch what she's saying because I wanted to speak on something. I just wanted to add on something to what that creator was saying. And it's not even so much that it's worse. Like, you know, trying to date an African woman is worse because of what you have to prove. It's just the fact that the people in her country are still culturally intact meaning that there is a cultural disconnect in america especially in the realm of relationships for lack of a better word or lack of a better term a lot of us in america are brainwashed okay a lot of us are brainwashed and we are living backwards we think certain things are supposed to be a certain way but we have no real culture and value and no real like bottom line like we don't have real community like some people have created their communities but as a whole we don't have real community and we don't take family important as other cultures and other people in other countries do just like for example if you ever watched that movie from scratch and you guys remember lino the guy the italian guy and his family you know a lot of people probably thought that his dad was racist and maybe he was but i caught it as like don't marry this american because they don't take family serious and we take family very serious here you know what i mean and it's like he like the divorce rate is so high because people don't get married for the right reasons and what she's describing in that video about what it takes to um marry a woman in africa it's not just in her culture in africa it's in other cultures too the problem yeah. in America with the African-American community is that there's so many broken homes and there's still so many people living under the ruling of the oppressor that we don't understand the value of the woman. And we don't understand the value of family. And we don't understand the value of marriage and the value of structure. Because in America, people think marriage is just business. People don't even look at the spiritual components of marriage anymore. It's just like when I'm an entrepreneur, but when I'm not doing entrepreneurial things, I do Instacart and something as simple as I've uh, done grocery shopping in Asian markets and Mexican markets and even Middle Eastern and Indian markets. And I have yet to see an African market. And when I say market, I'm not talking incense and oils. I'm talking about food that are indigenous to African and countries in Africa. So when I say African, I mean like Nigerian foods or crops or just things that they have and they eat yeah. we don't have that in la i hope that makes sense because i'm trying to hurry up this video and do the start stop but basically what i'm saying is that we don't have an additional indigenous blueprint in la for african americans because we're so disconnected which is why a lot of people think that dating or being with someone outside of who we are is better 
and like she said it's worse and like like i'm saying like to debunk the word worse i don't think it's worse it's just that in her country they stand in own business and in america we don't stand on business when it comes to family we don't and as you can see everything that's going on in this, in this world right now and i don't have to bring it up because tic tac tic tac tic tac has done a great job at you know discussing everything that's going on right now Y'all, this patriarchal mindset and the oppressors and the powers that be that have brainwashed this whole world is obviously not working, okay? Because people are living backwards. So to summarize this up, and I hopefully I'm making sense on this because I feel like my thoughts are just everywhere. And I really just want to speak to what she was saying and expand on what she was saying. There's just a cultural disconnect. There's a cultural disconnect. There's a relational disconnect. And there is no like sense of worth and value in the american like family and household and people don't get married and fall in love for the right reasons and then you know when you don't do it for the right reason you expecting something when it's like that ain't how it's supposed to go okay so yeah i would just call it like a cultural disconnect that's what it is I would say that a lot of us are brainwashed and there's a cultural disconnect. And until we create communities and heal and love ourselves and get to know who ourselves is, get to know who ourselves is. What am I talking <laughs> about? Get to know who we are as people yeah. and, and love on ourselves so we can love on each other. There's going to continuously be a cultural disconnect. And like she said, see, in her country, you can go to jail for trying to take somebody away from their family. Okay. And not upholding your values and stuff. If we took family a little more serious here instead of all that other stuff they're trying to take serious here, that don't matter. Hmm. This country would be way better. But when you still land and try to, uh, you know, enforce your own rules and regulations on land that is not indigenous to you, I mean, what do you expect? So, I saw a video today on TikTok of this young man, African American. Men in America are trying to punish women for wanting equality and human rights, women's rights. Because in America, men view women's rights as oppression against them. Because men inherently believe that it is their birthright to be able to control and use women. It's a part of the package deal. It goes along with the male entitlement that they were born with. The same exact male entitlement that they all claim they don't have, but then they freak out whenever it's infringed upon. Because the reality is what you're saying about uh, Africa is not that different from what we learn in America. Other than like the dowry and that, yeah. you know, extensive area, which honestly should be something that we should do in America, but that's a different story. The reality is the whole idea that a man is supposed to be the provider, the head of the household, that's the exact same thing that we learn in America. It's only America so screwed up is that when women are taught that, right, that, that's beat upon us since we are young. Oh, the man is the provider. The man is the one who takes care of you. That's the same structure we have in America unfortunately is when you actually grow up and that little girl gets to be an adult and she starts expecting the man to be a provider men start gaslighting her and telling her you're crazy what are you talking about i'm supposed to provide for you you're an independent woman you're a, a working woman right punishing us for wanting independence right and you can see this because they have an entire rhetoric set up to as a response to a woman wanting to be provided for. Oh, well, uh, you're a gold digger. Oh, well, what do you bring to the table? They have these built in responses that they give American women, which are realistically just excuses because they can't even live up to the bar that they set for themselves. And instead of them just owning up to it and taking accountability and saying, you know what, I just don't have it like that. I'm just not the man that I'm supposed to be. They have to flip the narrative and project and blame it on women and make it that women are the problem. This is America. Modern day men like to try to compare today to back in the day mm -hmm. and saying oh well you're not like your grandma you're not like your great grandma but the reality of the relationships and the structure that our grandparents tend to have it wasn't because they wanted to be that way it's because they had to be that way 
a lot of our grandparents and great grandparents were in relationships that were based on financial abuse. Back in the day, there was a time where women could not have their own bank accounts. They couldn't take out loans. They couldn't have credit cards. They couldn't work. They couldn't get a car. They couldn't get a house. If you wanted those things, you had to have a man. So yeah, they got with the man. Then the man, he's cheating. He has all these families all over the place. He's abusing her. He's mistreating her. And she had to stay because she had nowhere else to go. She had nothing. But then there got to a point where even our grandmothers, some of them, or even nowadays our mothers and things they couldn't take it anymore so they left with nothing and then they somehow made it work abusive men is what created the working woman women didn't go to work necessarily because they just wanted to they weren't so desperate to get into the factories and do all this hard labor no they just wanted independence they wanted an option they wanted an option not to have to be with a man to be with you a lot of our ancestors so to speak they weren't in relationships with men because they wanted to be it was because they had to be for survival for stability because as you can see as women are gaining more access to financial resources to be able to sustain themselves there's many women who are actually choosing not to have a man and when they do choose to have a man it's because they want to not because they have to but that scares men that's not something they want to hear men don't want women to be with them because they want to be with them men want women to be with them because they have to be because that want can literally turn into a don't want to yeah a woman's pursuit to independence is viewed as a personal attack against the man instead of men looking as women as partners they are viewing them as competition and it's hard for a lot of men to stomach and fathom the concept of being in competition with individuals that they don't even see as human beings they don't respect women but then they have to compete with them for the same job for the same resources yeah that's that's pissing a lot of men off that's why they are trying to punish us Another example of how men are trying to punish us is by essentially doing next to nothing but wanting all of the reward. This is why you see so many households today where they're taking advantage of the woman who wants to be independent, but he's not doing anything. Mm -hmm. So now she's not only is she still doing all the household work, still taking care of all of the kids, still doing all the cooking and cleaning, but then she also has her own full time job that she has to go to. And he may or may not have a job where he's contributing to the household or the situation or to the person he's in a relationship with, but he for surely is oftentimes not going to help her do any of the woman's work Mm -hmm. because that was her right she's the one who wanted to be miss free miss independent and had the nerve to go up and compete against the man and infringe on his ego a lot of these men today believe that men from back in the day were just receiving respect and obedience and submission from women just off the strength of their man Mm -hmm. and that was not the case they bought it they had to earn it and so do you a real woman is not just going to give that away to you for free y'all want to be head of the household so bad y'all want us to play follow the leader so bad but where are we following you to y'all are leading us straight into hell into poverty into struggle why would i follow you when you don't know where you're going And your video is about a black man, so let's talk about black people because this runs deep in the black community. We've seen it happening, right? It's because black men started with the degradation and the dehumanization of black women, of how black women aren't good enough. They're aggressive and they're ghetto and they're not up to par and they're not wives and they're they're not obedient enough, not submissive enough. They're too manly. So what they do, they went to other races of women. That's where it started. That was our first punishment. That was the first punishment towards black women, right? Oh, well, we're going to leave you behind and fine, we're going to go somewhere else. It's like, you know, a relationship where somebody tries to make you jealous of like, oh, I'm going to be with him. But it's like black women didn't care, right? So they went to these other races and we're like, okay, go do you. Because we already knew what y'all were giving and it was nothing. 
And y'all went and y'all tokenized other races, especially white women. And then guess what? Y'all didn't treat them right. Y'all seldom, if ever, do right by them. So then you all you did was reveal a pattern that black men are the problem. Yeah. And so now that y'all have ran through all these other races of people and they're seeing how you're not ish, now you're trying to go infiltrate other foreign countries. instead. Again, instead of doing the right thing, and just treating a woman with human decency and kindness, you're willing to go get a passport and go to an entire different continent to try to mistreat the women there? The lengths that they will go. And already these other women in foreign countries, they're seeing they're not as dumb and as desperate as y'all want to try to make them out to be. They're already peeping the game. They're already foreseeing that Y'all are not going to give them what they want to be given. Eventually, there's not going to be anywhere for y'all to run except for into the arms of other men, which ideally seems to be where a lot of y'all want to be. So it's fine. American American saying how he wants to go to Africa to find a wife. Let me tell y'all something. This is so true. Everything that she's saying is accurate. And I would know because my husband is Nigerian, in case you don't know. Hi. But yeah, those uh, African ladies, they don't play no games. You have to go through their families first to even and get permission from their families to even marry them. And then there's a criteria. Depending on uh, the tribe, some tribes you have to pay. You have to pay to marry the bride. And it ain't cheap. When y'all be thinking, oh, American women is wanting too much just setting it third. Baby, good luck. And not just African um, cultures, there are other cultures as well that does the same exact thing. You have to pay their families to marry them. So more of the story, y'all men need to get on y'all ish. Y'all need to be natural providers, point blank period. Okay, thank you. If you're still here, kindly put your thoughts and your comments and your opinion, your suggestion down in the comment section. Of course, in this channel, all opinions are accepted if you put them down respectfully. We're talking about 50-50 in Africa and men in the united states coming to africa to pick wives just because they feel like wives in africa are better or they can easily manipulate them they can easily do the 50 50 thing and they can easily you know control them in their own way but <laughs> i just feel like this is just funny because in africa okay let me just talk about nigeria that i'm from 50 50 is not common at all as a man and you're ready to get married you're ready to marry a woman <laughs> you must be ready to provide for her 100 yes that is like the norm that happens here you must be very ready to provide for her 100 you must be working you must be earning you must have an apartment you must put food on a table you must be able to provide for her 100 but then if you have a woman that's you know works as well she can also support you if she wants to but you are the one that have that you must provide because when you're getting married as, as the creator said you will pay bright price you have to go meet the family you have to go beg to marry <laughs> like you literally begging to collect the child from the family and for you to beg to collect something from somebody you will definitely cherish that thing when it comes to you you don't just beg with mouths, you beg with things, you go with food stuff, some you even go with buildings as well. Some even give you car. It depends on how how much money you have. The daughter will have told the family that, okay, you know what, this man I'm bringing is not so boxed up. Uh, this is how this is where it works. It's not so rich, please. Be lawyer or just, you know, be lenient to him and they, 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 they do what the right list of what you are supposed to bring so before they give you out before they give their daughter out they keep ticking the list okay you brought this okay count it how many yam okay and this is not like okay after he has done all that if you choose not to provide fine blah 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 even after all of that if some places some culture in nigeria as well if you don't provide they'll collect their child back but why some culture in Nigeria, if you don't provide, they will go and tell the wife and say, 
okay he has paid bright price you have to still stay in this marriage regardless what the man does to you and that is why you see some african marriages are suffering because they don't have the woman the women cannot come out to talk about how abusive their husband is to them because he has paid so much <laughs> on their head so they cannot come outside to talk about how abusive he is because when they come out i talk about it to their family when the family thinks of things or imagine how much the man has spent or the man spends just to take high away from the family they will tell her to shoot her mouth she has to still stay there in the marriage because they don't have that kind of money to refund him but because if you're divorcing your husband in africa you should pay back your diary back to the husband the money he paid everything he spends will be paid back to him traditionally that is not by the law anyway that's just tradition so when it comes to 50 50 to be honest one thing that i got i, I was actually surprised on when it comes to 50 people that i've seen online is first dates you invite a girl on the first date and you expect her to pay for a meal i was very shocked the very first time i saw this video online i'm like is this like a conversation like a woman has to pay you have to split the bill you invited me for a date and i have to see if i it, what i'm used to in africa invites me on a date you are the one in fact if you really want that woman you will come and pick her up some even pay for her dress and makeup everything you pay for the food you even buy food for her to take home for her friends in the house even with her family you will give her take out food she's not going to spend it then you'll drop her at home that is how it's supposed to be that is how we see men supposed to be providing provider so if you think you want to come to africa to pick women and be like okay they're going to be fit. we are not used to 50 50 they're not used to that lifestyle that is why you see some families that migrate from africa to probably the um, uk or united states and it's very hard for the man over there because he has a lot of load on his head he ha he knows that i'm supposed to provide 100 so it's difficult for the woman to drop money because she's not used to the 50 50 left don't get me wrong there's some Afri there's some my um family in africa here that does 50 50 because they want to because it's just it's not the norm i'm not talking about the norm a normal family home that you go into it is the man that has to provide and some cases where like, the man cannot provide the woman has the money she provides as well but the normal thing is supposed to be is the man that is why you see even in a house that the woman is the one providing people outside see it as a man providing oh your man is the one that did this your man did this whereas it's the woman that does all things they don't assume they don't expect the woman to be the one dropping money or doing this they just assume that it's the man that's supposed to provide what they see woman as is a slave just be in the house sleep wake up bear children walk eat just do everything the man wants you to do for them and that is it i just i just feel like it's a modern slavery to me and that's the in fact most men most uh, men that marry african women they expect them not to work they'll tell you stop working the moment you get married they'll say don't work stay at home blah 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 so once you start having one or two or three children you're done for <laughs> that is it and that is why most of the time they don't come out to complain they take a lot of bs because when you can you don't have a job you're not working your husband is only one providing for you and when you go and meet your family they tell you you know what the the bride price your husband pays so much you don't have money to pay him back stay in that marriage they keep quiet and they take a lot of bs so it takes a lot it takes a strong woman a woman that knows who she is that knows what she wants it takes a lot of hard work for her to decide that you know what i'm getting into this marriage i have to work i have to love myself i have to be me even while i'm there this kind of women difficult for them to take a lot of bs from their partner in africa so if you as a man you're coming to africa to pick a woman of course you're going to spend a lot before you get her and when you get her doesn't mean that she will have to do the 50 50 with you no it's not normal here at all so when i saw the video i'm like this is so true because sometimes when i see 
that's why I, you all know I'm, I'm not in support of 50 50 because it doesn't just make sense to me it's not clicking in my head why i have to support you 50 50 i don't understand why i have to do why am i with you if i'm going to be supporting you 50 50 what do i so what am i benefiting from you because if i'm alone i can do this on my own and to be on my own so when i'm with a man why should i have to split the bill anyways i feel like i can go on and on and on and on with this video and talking 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 because i can totally relate to this video and i find this video very interesting did you find it interesting let me know down in the comment section kindly put your thoughts in the comment section i would really love to hear your part from this video all right thank you all so much for sticking around to this point i hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and share and subscribe and kindly turn on the post notification bell so you can get notified once i upload another interesting video like this one and of course you all i'll see you all in my next one bye <laughs>